Hey everyone, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are getting out of the house and we are taking a trip to a little place called Grantsville, Maryland. If you are new here, I am a resident of Pennsylvania myself, but my family likes to take an annual trip or two out to Grantsville, um, which is a great place for farmer's markets, um, historical sites and little museums. There is a decent Amish and Mennonite population in Grantsville, so they have a lot of Amish goods, primarily baked goods and just Amish run stores. Grantsville also boasts um, a place called Candyland that I have went to since I was a kid, which I will show in this video as well. And of course you will see my grandparents because Grantsville isn't Grantsville if you're not going with your grandparents. Anyway, it's just gonna be a cozy fall-like vlog and when we get back home, I'll do a little bit of reading. So stay tuned for that. Happy first week of October. What is it? Yes! I would like a fried pie. Which one do you want, Troy? You want apple? That one's up there. They also have red raspberry. Uh, blueberry, blueberries probably. <laughs> Pure honey. That's going to be honey delicious. Honeycomb in a jar. That looks good. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking for pickled asparagus. Ew. They have pickled garlic here. Why? Why are you looking for pickled asparagus? I like it. Are those dill, dill pickle Brussels sprouts? Ooh, actually. That sounds crazy. Oh, I think I'd like this actually. We can eat this for, uh, we can yeah, eat it at D&D. Right. &D. Cheese samplings. Mm hmm. Mm, give me one of those picks. What's that? Plain. <laughs> Make myself a kebab. Oh man! Wow. Okay, so we got plain. Yep. I can't resist, and I have to get some curds. <laughs> I have to get some curds. Mmm. That's soft. Crabby curds with Old Bay seasoning. 
It's interesting. It's wine infused. It's focusing on me too much. It doesn't care about the cheese. Sparky's Fury. Hot pepper. That's really good. Wow, that's incredible. better now because when you get when you get old you get mean yeah i think so <laughs> <laughs> that's that staying in the video let me step on that welcome to troy eats where, where, where troy where troy does eat. it come with a oh, uh, gravy and everything on there you yeah, do, do yeah you almost need a pork thank you look at that very delicious food oh this is weird that's what we were just talking about, Bob. That's well, probably, it probably developed that during the pandemic. Maybe. Probably. Hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is like true, true poutine, wow. right? You have to try this. <laughs> mm. That's so good. Mm. That's really good gravy. Mm -hmm. Here, you want this one? <laughs> I'll it's stay as long as I can. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? We are going? Grandma's house. Where are we going? Grandma's house. Sorry, I got distracted. What? He just did yeah, grab, them. grab them. <laughs> grab the fast breaks. Okay. How many was that? That was three. It's not enough. Okay. Is that like seven? Two more. Let's make it even ten. I'm gonna destroy those in my office. Now, I know what you're all thinking. I could very well just go get a fast break bar. But, these are tiny fast breaks. Yeah, Tootsies, Tooties. Oh. Fruities. Where are the, oh, I was gonna I say, where, where are the cherries? You wanna get some of these? Some of these bad boys? Throw them in there? That'll make it easier to, to get to the, the center of the Tootsie Pop. Me literally smashing it. Is this grape? I don't think so. I think it's blueberry. I mean, it's a win win, right? Because blueberry and grape are both amazing. Oh, wow. Star. Starburst? Interesting. The red one. Where's the pink one? There we go. Let's get some pink up in this business. <laughs> I don't know what I'm filming. Look, I'm filming the pink, the pink starburst pop. Oh, dude, fast break. 
Let's get more. Grab more. You who? You who candies? Okay. Yeah. Salted nut roll. Grab one. Well, it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt. I think I've tried these before, and they're not very good. So. Mm, wow. Well, we'll you didn't have to say that on camera. Ooh, sour punch lollipop. You know what? I'll throw it in. Mini pops. They're <laughs> tiny. <laughs> There's different flavors. This is small. This is smaller than a dum dum. Yeah. Mm. Mint patties. These are like the thicker versions of York, I guess. Look. What about work out? Look. It doesn't even go here. Pizza. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's the gentle. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand is too light. Oh look, they have I have multiple types. Oh look at all the types, Joy. Look at all the types. Grab all the types. They have strawberry. They Get have all the types. They have black licorice. They have black. Okay. They have blue. They have, they have blue. Should we get a blue pop? Yeah, but like which one? Like a clap. There's tropical berry. Bursting berry. Should we get two? Yeah, of course. What do you think we're gonna share a blow pop? That's not how that works. Frosted animal cookies. What? Frost frosted animal cookie. Taffy? Yeah. I guess we should get a couple? Yeah. Well these are good. Apple belts. Yeah, I guess some. How many? I don't know. <gasps> I'll get three of these kind. Razzles. How many of those did you get? You ever have Razzles? I love them. Get some Razzles. Oh, iced tea candy. I'll try it. It's probably disgusting. And then latte candy. <laughs> probably tastes like garbage. Coffee candy. Probably tastes like garbage. Cherry menthol. <laughs> That's cough drops, my sir. Toxic waste. Mm, those I bet are, that sounds, that's like. Do you want to try one? That's some, no, I've had sure? one. Yeah. You want, uh, you nope. want to try anything? Nope, I'm good. That's that's pretty much purely malic acid. Oh, dum dums. <laughs> it's weird to see so many blue raspberry because I almost always fished for them. I remember like tried. digging and I'm like. <laughs> It was always a cotton candy. You want a cotton candy? Those, and I never found them. Gross. I'll find you another cotton candy. Mike makes sour watermelon. Here, get one of those. here. It's another cotton candy for you, weirdo. Who eats that ca cotton candy stuff? Only weirdos. Now I'm gonna have everyone in the comments flock to your defense and say, "Well, cotton candy stuff is delicious." And Paige is right, and you should go and live in the basement. in my library. I think I'm zoomed in. I have recently started, like a couple days ago, uh, The w I'm using a band-aid as a bookmark. I just realized I held it up and then I was like, oops, forgot that that's in there. It's not a used band-aid. It's a fresh, unopened band-aid that was in my purse. Anyway, that's my bookmark. Anyway. So I recently started The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. I've had this book for years at this point uh, and I was in the mood for something horror, thriller, um, and a book that I want to read called Brother. I don't know the author's name. Uh, I ordered that on the recommendation of my friend Jess, but that did not come in. 
and so I picked this up instead for the time being. Um, I'm about like a hundred pages in. I'm gonna keep reading next to my snoring dog for the time being until our friend Andrew gets here and we start D&D. This book, like I said, is a horror, thriller, I think supernatural book um, that is set in New England, I believe. Yeah, it's kind of got like witchy vibes. We have a lot of characters so far that I'm trying to wrap my head around, <clears throat> but so far so good. page 200 so I've read over 100 pages because I wasn't quite at 100 when I started reading um, I was like at like 85 or something so I think I made pretty good progress I am right here which is about halfway this book went from like here for me to like way up here perfect book if you're looking for something that's gonna horrify you like it has those horror elements of um, kind of gore um obviously supernatural horror um and that suspense that comes with supernatural horror but also like the classic mystery feeling that is associated with multiple narrators that are all leading to us to a single conclusion if you know what i mean i'm really tired so I, this isn't gonna be like a good yeah um the setting is really interesting this is like reconfirmed my desire to go to the New England states and see for myself the kind of history that they have there. But with that being said, Dungeons and Dragons is beginning soon, so I have to put this down, which I'm actually kind of upset about because I am like getting somewhere and it's like frustrating. I'm going to use my my unopened band-aid as my bookmark again. Thank you so much for watching. Um Today's video was a bit of a combination of a lot of things, but hopefully it was enjoyable. He's a good boy. Come here. Come here. That's a good boy. Yes. Um, hopefully today's video gave you really nice autumn vibes. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, and you can join my Discord channel called Paging Through Club. We are going to be reading spooky things for October, obviously. I hope you are having a wonderful week, and I will see you back here very, very soon. Bye! Bye.